Hello, welcome back to another segment, another the cooking at home segment uh, from the Elixir Kitchen. My name is Jeremy Capone. I am the wellness chef and I am joined by... Hi there, I'm Steph Gladman and I'm your registered dietitian. Um, so for today's segment, we're doing cooking and snacking during the holiday season. <laughs> so obviously we are um, still in lockdown, still in isolation, and um, we figured we would bring you some healthier choice recipes to enjoy um, as you are either bubbled up <laughs> or um, on your own. So the first one is one of my favorites, um, and it is kind of a uh, spin on our own version of a trail mix. So take it away, Jer. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we are making a sort of a festive trail mix, uh, delicious snack. Um, maybe it tastes better during the holidays. I don't know. Uh, it does help if you do have a festive shirt on though when you are cooking. So bring out your best. Um, but this is gonna be delicious, really simple. and. What I love about it is it's very, very flexible in terms of what you can add, okay? So right here, I have this beautiful array of different nuts and I have some dried fruit in here, um, but you can use whatever you have available. Um, we are using walnuts, we're using some pumpkin seeds, I have some pecans, and then I even have some of those uh, vacuum packed chestnuts, which are great. If you're roasting your own, chest, your own chestnuts, even better, but these are really convenient. They're already cooked. They're only like a couple bucks and they're a great little snack to add to on their own, but especially to a trail mix like this. So super, super simple. What I'm doing is over medium heat, I've got a large skillet and I'm going, only going to add the dried nuts. I'm not going to add any of the dried fruit or the chestnuts yet because those are a little soft. So what I want to do is heat them up. I have them over medium heat. And we want them to sort of express some of the natural oil, oils that are already in the nuts and seeds. And you'll see as you're heating them up, they'll start to get a little glossier, a little shinier. Now you can, this is optional, um, add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, and this actually just helps, helps to get some of those natural oils that looked like a lot, it wasn't, it was just wasn't coming out of the spout. It's only about a tablespoon or so. And just give them a little mix, try to keep them as flat as possible. And you'll start to see them get a little bit of color, a little bit of shine. And what I'm gonna start to do is thinking of like the festive flavors, um, you can start adding some of those now. So one of my favorites is rosemary. Okay, you can add dried rosemary, you can add bay leaf. Um, this is just fresh rosemary. And what I'm going to do is just hold the stem and just strip the needles off just like this. And we're going to add that whole. So I'm not even chopping them up. We're just going to, and then you can pinch off the head there. Okay. So I don't want to add the whole stem, but again, holding the stem, just pinch the needles off and we're going to add this. And when those the rosemary hits the, oils that are coming out of the nuts and the seeds, it's gonna get extremely, extremely fragrant, okay? And you're gonna to start to get a lot of those aromas. Um, what are some other things we can add? We can add a piece of cinnamon stick. You can add some nutmeg, some grated nutmeg. I love adding some orange, some tangerine. And I don't wanna add the juice because I wanna keep this dry as a, as a really nice sort of you know, trail mix snack. But the zest or the peel of the orange is gonna be super, super fragrant. It's gonna have its own sort of essential oils um, as well. So I'm just gonna take a, a rasp or a grater. You can even take a vegetable peeler and just like kind of peel off pieces of the orange. That would work as well. And we're gonna grate that in. And again, as soon as this hits the heat and those hot oils coming off the seeds and the nuts, you're gonna get this incredible aroma of orange as well so we have orange we have rosemary we have the nut toasting this will take like three minutes until you get some really nice color on it and then we're going to continue with the rest i love it that's i feel like i could already smell the <laughs> great aromas and you know i think that um the best thing about this is that this is a great thing to have for a snack so i always advocate um having proteins and healthy fats 
Okay, so you've got your pumpkin seeds, you've got your walnuts, um, and those walnuts are extra important because they have um, omega-3 fatty acids, right? So this is a type of fat that our body does not make. So we need to get it through food. Some of the sources are things like salmon, trout, sardines, um, but you could also get it from plant-based food sources like ground flax seeds, chili, chia seeds, and walnuts. So um, you do want to have a mix of different things. Um, so walnuts do have those omega-3s. They're helpful for um, decreasing inflammation in the body. Um, they also are helpful in, um, create, in supporting that healthy immune system um, and also for supporting heart health. Um, the thing that I want to bring up here is that omega-3s do have both omega-3, sorry, the walnuts have omega-3 and omega-6. Okay, and we know that you, it's important to balance out the ratio between the two because too much omega-6 can cause that inflammation in the body. Um, so I recently actually had a client who was telling me that they were only having omega, uh, sorry, uh, those walnuts, which is, it's good in small quantities, right? So like a handful of walnuts um, as a snack, but if you're having that like three or four times throughout the day, then you're actually increasing those omega-6. So you do wanna balance that out. Um, so that's why this nut mix also has um, other types of, of nuts. So definitely aim to get your handful of walnuts. So you're getting your portions of omega-3 throughout the day, um, but have that variety. Um, so like I said, chia seeds and brown flax seeds are also great sources of omega-3 coming from plant-based foods. Beautiful, okay. So I'm gonna show you what we're looking like in the pan here. Try to get in as close as possible. I don't know if you can see how we have some nice golden brown, a little bit of toasting going on with the nuts. Definitely nice and glossy. So a lot of those oils have started to come out, um, which is great. And it's obviously very, very, very fragrant. Okay. So when you can start to smell the rosemary, the orange, you know that you're on the right track. So now we're going to finish it off with the rest of our ingredients. And again, this should only take you know less than 10 minutes. It should not take a long time at all. Um, we're going to add some of those dried cranberries. Again, the reason I didn't add them earlier is because they're sort of concentrated, they have their own sugar, they can burn a little bit faster um, and they start to get really hard, uh, which I don't want. So that's why I add them closer to the end. And then the chestnuts too, I'm just going to be breaking them up my hand into like smaller pieces, um, but they're really soft, uh, unlike the, the other nuts and seeds. So if I, again, if I added them too early, they would just turn a little, you know, mushy, which I don't want. So we add them now. Beautiful. We're getting some great, great color on this. Um, this is optional. You can add a little pinch of salt. Again, just a little bit, and that's going to help to elevate all of those flavors. And it wouldn't be festive without a little bit of cinnamon, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add just a little sprinkle of cinnamon in there. And again, once it hits those oils in the pan, it's gonna start to get really fragrant. And then the last thing, just for a little bit of sweetness, is we're gonna add some maple syrup. You can do this with honey as well, um, but I find that the maple syrup makes it a little bit crunchier when it cools. And you don't need a lot. I'm gonna add like two tablespoons for this entire mixture in here. Now, at this point, you can turn the heat down to about medium low. What we want to do is coat all the nuts in here, and you're going to start to see the maple syrup bubble. Mm. You only want to do that for about two minutes, okay? Keep an eye on it because the maple syrup once it gets beyond a certain point, it will start to burn because it is sugar, right? So um, I can start to see, I don't know if you can catch it in here, but I got to start to see it bubble pretty rapidly. When that, that bubbling over here, when that bubbling starts to slow down and you almost get like these slow, uh, but bigger bubbles, that means that a lot of the water is evaporating and it's caramelizing pretty quickly, okay? So keep an eye, medium, low, and only do this for about a couple minutes. And you're gonna to start to see some really, really nice color. 
use a spoon. Remember, hot sugar, hot maple syrup is very hot. It'll burn. So do not be tempted to try one out of the pan. Um, you'll do it once and then you'll learn and you'll never do it again. So take it from me. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Let it cool down. Okay. So two minutes and then put it, just put it onto a tray, like a baking sheet with parchment paper to cool. Give it like 10 minutes just so it cools properly. And you'll end up with Ooh. this delicious mixture. Of, <laughs> let's see if I can bring it in a little bit closer. There we go. That looks delicious, Jared. And when it cools, what happens is you'll get this beautiful clusters of the nuts, the seeds, the rosemary, the cranberries. Mm -hmm. And you can store that easily in a Ziploc. You can put it in the freezer even. Um, and great little snack. Yeah. I also want to just add here that yes, it's awesome for a snack. You know, you could have, you know, a handful or two, um, you know, I don't know, in the morning, maybe before you go for your, you know, 10,000 step walk outside um, or, you know, right before um, dinner, like maybe around three o'clock. Um, it's also an awesome Netflix little snack to have portion it out before you um, go ahead and mindlessly eat, but really awesome. Um, the other thing that, you know, you could always um, add it to is a salad or top it on top of whole wheat couscous or quinoa, right? So in order to kind of bulk up that protein and healthy fat in whatever you're eating, um, whether that's a salad or a little pasta dish um, or a whole grain, um, it's always nice to have that extra crunch um, and different flavors in there as well. So this is super versatile. Um, and like Jer said, it keeps well for a long time. You could freeze it, um, no problem. So enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Delicious. Um, and we'll see you again. <laughs>